Let's get right at it now. The man of the hour is with us. Larry Kudlow joins us from the White House. Larry, before we get to the jobs report, did you write that anonymous op-ed in the New York Times? I sure didn't. Why would I? I've spent the better part of the last two plus years helping President Trump develop the very policies that he's been promulgating on taxes and Larry, regulation minute, and Larry. trade reform. Larry, 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 you, took my, you, took, you took my question seriously. Come Why, on, Larry. I, I you mean, know me. But no, somebody, <laughs> I know, but we'll have some fun, Sue, because I do know you. I saw uh, one magazine finger me among a couple others that should have known better, and I've seen a couple of ankle biters. I mean, for God's sakes. <laughs> and here's the great part of this story, okay? So, guess what? The policies are working, okay? There is an economic boom. Today's jobs report continues it. Almost nobody believed possible. It's covering wages. It's covering investment. Yes. It's covering taxes and inflation and manufacturing. We're, we're not peaking yet. This well, baby's going wait on. Wait a second. So aren't, aren't why you, would I want to pose that? I love aren't that. You, aren't you a little disappointed with 201,000 new jobs? Now, let me explain myself. I mean, before the election, before we got these tax cuts in place, we were thinking we're going to get 4 and 5% growth, and we've got 4% growth. We also thought, I was pretty confident, that there would be months where you would see 300, maybe 400,000 new jobs. We're not even close. Are you a little disappointed? No. Give it time, Stu. This thing's building. It's building. I mean, you know, today's figure, uh, what, plus 201? There's all these crazy summer seasonals. Uh, some people were worried that you might have a decline. No. I mean, what you're doing here is you're creating jobs steadily at a very high level. And I'm not convinced we peaked on that. But the overall story, let, let's, go back to, uh, let's go back to Tuesday, Thursday, the ISMs. There's no better real-time indicator. Manufacturing boomed. Uh, services boomed. Uh, in today's report, wages picking up steam. My pal Kevin Hassett of the CEA has shown, by the way, if you calculate them right, uh, real after-tax wages are moving into boom territory. We're clicking on all cylinders. So uh, I'm perfectly happy with what I'm seeing in almost okay. every aspect. Are we going to get a trade deal with Canada maybe today? You know, Stu, I'll, I'll give you a maybe. I know they're working hard. I can't predict. I think they're probably working as you and I are talking. Um, Ambassador Lighthizer, we met yesterday with the president and so forth. We're all working hard. Um, and I think the United States would rather have a trade deal with Canada, but it has to be a good deal, right? And the word that continues to block the deal is M I. L K. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I just saying. Sure. Let go. L milk, dairy, drop the barriers. Give our farmers a break, and we can fix some other things. So I don't want to predict. I'll just say Bob Lighthouse is doing a great job, and the president is okay. is uh, encouraging it. Tell me about China. The, the, the two issues there, which we don't really talk much about, and that is the theft of intellectual uh, property and the forced takeover of our technology. Yep. You don't hear much about it. Is there any movement under the surface, under the radar here, that you know about on those two issues? Because uh, I, I really want to know if China's put anything forward, anything to suggest that might accommodate our desire to fix those two issues. Stu, I don't think they have. I don't think they have specifically. You're 100 percent right. Look, we talk about this. You know, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin's our team leader on this. Bob Lighthizer is our lead negotiator. I've been deeply involved in these talks. They, the Chinese, know exactly what our asks are. And you're right, theft of uh, IP, uh, forced transfer of technology, ownership, Stu, <laughs> ownership, okay? They keep saying they're going to let American companies own 
51 or 53, it doesn't happen. By the way, we should own 100%, so we don't have to be ordered to lay our blueprints on the table so they can steal our technology. High tariffs, non-tariff barriers uh, with respect to various commodities, industrial goods, and so forth. Uh, we're out there. They know exactly what we want, Stu. You know, remember Mrs. Reagan? Remember, you and I, got, well, you and I are so old, we remember this. <laughs> we Nancy, do. when I was here the last time, you know, I come around every 35 years. Mrs. Reagan, to drugs, said, just say no. And she was absolutely right. Mm. My advice to my Chinese friends, and some of them have become friends, fellas, just say yes <laughs> to something. Good luck to with something. that. Good luck with so that. So we can move forward, you know? I, 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 real fast, social media stocks down this week, down big, actually. I think investors expect regulation to be coming from Congress. Do you think social media, like Facebook and Google and Twitter, do you think they should be in some form regulated? Social well, media. I don't want to go that far. We talked about this a week or two back. A lot of people use the word. I never said the word regulation. I never said. I do think they have a lot to be accountable for, okay, yep. with respect to withholding uh, conservative uh, searches and conservative tweets. I think they have a lot to be accountable for. All I'll say is what I said. We are looking at it. National Economic Council, we are engaged in a study at the request of the president to try to look at the facts and some of this, uh, uh, you know, the science and technology. Uh, we have no idea where we're going. Regulation, lawsuit, we don't know where we're going. We're just trying to gather information. But let me just say this. I'm not an expert, but I've sure spent a lot of time reading up. Those big outfits have a lot to be accountable for. There's so many anecdotes about withholding conservative, whether it's a search engine or a news engine or just a Twitter. So many unexplained, seems pretty fishy to me. So we're looking at that part of the story, Stu. Okay. I don't want to get ahead of it Understood. with respect to legal or regulatory actions. Too soon for that. Larry, it's a great pleasure to have you back on the show, especially because you. you're clearly in fine form again. <laughs> you really are. You Thank rate, you. baby. It's a boom. Thanks, it's a boom. It's a boom, Stuart. Keep the boom. Yes, sir. I got it. <laughs> See you later. Larry Cudlow, everyone. Thank you.